Hello everybody. Recently I uploaded a a beat named as IPL Team Reimagined. A lot of you all saw that beat and I am sure many of you all liked it. I just thought I'll I'll just uh, walk you through how I got that idea of creating that beat, my process, my mixing process, the plugins that I used, how I came up with each track and stuff like that. This is basically going to be a tutorial, so I hope you guys like it. I like to create beats in a very innovative and creative manner. While I was thinking about how what my next beat should be, I suddenly saw this IPL theme music. By the way, I love watching cricket. I love cricket. When I heard that song, I instantly thought, "Okay, I can create a beat out of this." So I thought of, you know, putting my originality into that beat and then finally creating a finished stuff. The first thing that I did is download the IPL uh, theme song. Next immediate step that I did is create a sampler. This is my sampler. So the first and foremost thing that was done is assign this audio. So basically what we heard right now, I just assigned some of those audio samples into the sampler. So basically what a sampler does is you can basically assign an audio clip to your MIDI controller. So in my case my MIDI controller is a keyboard. So I'm playing a C note and that gets played. So that that's what a sampler does. So I assigned a couple of notes and then I played I played a melody. This is how my melody goes. So I recorded that over here. The next thing would be any cue. So I cut out all the low stuff and then I added a compression so compression basically levels up the whole audio uh, whatever is soft it brings it to a certain level and whatever is loud it lowers it down to a certain level so that the entire audio is leveled up so this is a new plugin that i tried so when i was uh, trying out this plugin i realized that without this plugin you will be able to hear the full actual volume Okay this is without the plugin with the plugin so it almost sounds like the audio is covered up with something and then you can hear it so i thought that there, there should be a, tran a transition so i automated it so that to start with it will start and then so as you can see now it is turned off so i automated that this eq i i lower the i mean i reduce the volume of the higher frequency so that the beginning will be like i said it's underneath something or it is covered by something if that the volume is in 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 that way i am sure you can find the difference right the next thing that i added is a synthesizer so this is a stock synthesizer so i added this i added compression i added so basically uh, this is just an octave a lower d and a higher d and similarly a lower c and a higher c so without these this is how the synthesizer will be heard okay so with compression the next thing i added is chorus so without this it will almost be like only one one sound is being played with chorus without and with so a lot of harmonizing frequencies were heard so i added that and the final thing that i added is an eq channel so basically i automated it just like what i did for the previous track i did the same thing here so initially you will hear the sound except that it is it looks like it's been covered and it's coming out something like that slowly it will come out so listen to this Let's listen to it with the previous track.
so it's opening up. Okay, the next track that I added is a drum beat. So I added a kick and a snare. This is a kick and this is a snare. So not a lot of plugins going on. I added a compressor and an overdrive. Yeah, the next uh, track I added is a shaker. I just wanted to give, you know, fill the mix. So I added shakers and then added an EQ just to cut out the lows, a compressor and a reverb and delay so that, you know, it won't be feeling like it's uh, sitting out of the mix. With the shaker, without, The next track that I added is a tambourine. It's the same thing, like I added compressor, EQ, and I added chorus here as well, and a little bit of reverb. So, just a little bit. And the last track that was added is this thing called Droplets. This is also a synthesizer. I added compressor, and I added channel EQ. This again is just a single note. Yeah, so, that's all. So now let's listen to the final output. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to share any suggestion or if you want to talk to me about what you think about this beat, please feel free to drop a comment or you can DM me. I'll be happy to help you. If you guys have any questions regarding mixing and mastering, please feel free to ask me. Never give up on your dreams. Keep, keep trusting in the process and I'm sure one day you'll feel proud about where you are. Thank you so much for watching and if you would like to see more tutorials like this, uh, please let me know and I'll see you in the next video.